How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be going over a brand new Battle Royale clue talking about why we're about to get a brand new George Springer. So let's go ahead and get right into it. Now SDS has already revealed Christy Mathewson as part of the 90 point program mark within the brand new Flawless Battle Royale program that will be released on Tuesday, June 14th. This Christy Mathewson looks to be all right. Uh, hopefully he has a sinker instead of a two seam fastball and he might have a little bit more value. Yesterday they went ahead and revealed that it is in fact Evan Longoria. So I talked about him in my most recent video. I was trying to explain exactly why I thought it was Evan Longoria and I am going to do the same thing here in this video. So um, let's go ahead and get into the clue that we had revealed about, I don't know, 40 minutes ago or so. Um, it does say here, Battle Royale 4 Flawless Reward, right? So it lets us know that this is the final Flawless Reward. We see an orange silhouette, which leads me to believe that it might be a Met player. It might be an Astros player. It could also be a Detroit Tigers player. And then the tweet mentioned that uh, made their major league debut in 2014. So it could be DeGrom, right? That was the first person I thought about. I'm like, well, they might hint at DeGrom, but they might show a hitting version of his silhouette. And we had this all-star card in last year's game. When I hopped on to the screenshots, it doesn't make as much sense that it would be DeGrom. I think it's still an option, um, but he doesn't have the same type of animation that we see in the silhouette, right? His uh, preload animation. He has his elbow down. And here, this looks more like the silhouette, um, but I still don't think it is Jacob deGrom. And I think this is a mirrored silhouette at that. So I'll kind of explain exactly what I'm talking about. Um, but the next card I thought about, right? It might be a Tigers version or a Mets version of Javier Baez. Uh, we obviously had a Cubs version a couple years ago. We had a Finest card. I don't think he did well enough with the Mets, and I don't think he's done well enough with the Tigers to earn a card for those specific teams. And if we take a look at this um, screenshot here, it's the same type of thing, right? It doesn't look like the silhouette preload animation, but it does kind of look like the silhouette um, after he takes his stride. The thing that throws off the silhouette picture completely is his face guard. This, uh, this guard that he has blocking his jaw, uh, that is not on the silhouette, so I do not think it will be Javier Baez. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, I think it will be George Springer, and I'm going to get into exactly why I think so. I think it is a mirrored uh, picture. I think this is a right-handed hitter that we're looking at in the silhouette picture, even though it looks to be a lefty. With that being said, he had pretty much the same exact card in back-to-back -back years. However, you could parallel this card in last year's game, obviously. Um, but if we take a look at his in-game screenshot, this is from MLB The Show 21. It does look like this matches up a little bit better, especially when he takes his stride. Um, but also, there's one other thing that leads me to believe that this is George Springer. That almost confirms it for me. And it is actually the dirt patches that are barely visible in the bottom left of the silhouette screenshot. And we're going to show you one more time. I'm going to go ahead and take you through it right here but this is what I'm seeing in the bottom left of that orange picture is this darker dirt in the outfield around the warning track and near this bigger wall do you see it with the arrow there it's it's perfectly visible I mean it is clear as day and this is actually the reason why I'm going to title the video that it is George Springer confirmed because um, I can't think of any other player, right? There is no other Astros player that it could be who had their debut in 2014 that would be worthy of a Battle Royale Flawless Reward. Um, but let me know who you think in the comment section down below. I could be incorrect, and that's okay. I'm just trying to get this information out there to everyone. So you might be able to kind of build your team or sell some players in advance or do some things to help yourself be a little bit more prepared for this launch. But that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and until next time, peace out.